I, I'll start with you, Andrew. Can you tell me about the two very special people sat beside you who are at the heart of this fundraiser? Well, this is Adam and Alana. Um, Adam is four and Alana is seven, and they've both been diagnosed with uh, neurofibromatosis, or NF1 for short. Um, Alana has a bioptic, or sorry, an optic pathway glioma that's benign, it's just behind the eyes, and then Adam has two. Um, Alana has done 70 weeks of chemotherapy for the the tumour. She's also got hydrocephalus as well, caused by the tumour. And then Adam, he has two two gliomas as well, and then he's got scoliosis as well as a, a forward on from that. So he's currently in a, a, a body cast from the hips to under the arms for that. And is that from birth, Andrew? How, how did they be, come to be uh, diagnosed with um, this? They've got uh, marks on their skin called uh, cafe au lait, and if, if they have um, a few of them they just get them checked out and if they're under the groin or under the armpits they they just that's generally the symptoms of it yeah so we were sent to the doc doctors in for that and can you can you tell me about the condition for people who you know may have heard of it or may not be fully understand it what kind of impact it has as i, I suppose aside from the treatment side of it yeah. the actual condition itself it's a genetic order that um tumors form on the end of the nerves so like it it's just affecting us this way that um, it can affect Alana's eyesight so that's why she had the chemotherapy for that to, to prevent the tumour growing and her going blind. And, and Padraig I suppose the, one of the things is that it's hard to plan because of the weather aspect and all that you're aiming to get out in early May is that right? Yeah so the plan is we'll go uh, midnight on so as the, as the bell strikes 12 at midnight on Saturday of the May Bank Holiday weekend we hope to be at the foot of the Devil's Ladder we'll issue details on that we're looking for all the support we can get for people to join us on the night climb of Caron Tool uh, we're hoping that uh, we'll lead the way we want Andrew to be the top at the top of every climb before us um, so so he will be he will lead that once we get down then we uh, hopefully somebody will hand us a very tasty breakfast roll or something and uh, off we go uh, we, we're managing diet as well we won't get away with eating that kind of stuff on the day because we're going to we, we've got a, a guy who's helping us a personal trainer Damien Rail who's been superb so far yeah. with us and uh, Damien's really talking to us and he's getting us uh, advice now next on, on on nutrition and what we should be doing for the day so all in all it's a uh, it's a big logistical uh, plan and if the weather comes against us that's it it's scrapped till the Monday morning or the yeah. Sunday night should we say uh, so we've got a plan A and plan B after that we'll have to scrap it for the following weekend but I think we'll think positive it's May uh, you know once we don't have uh, uh, winds we can manage uh, rain we can manage but uh, uh, low cloud w we can't for, for travelling um, in the helicopter yeah. so uh, uh, and as well uh, just you know when the weather is really uh, heavy on the, on the mountains then it just becomes a drag and that there's no fun left in it uh, so you know we want to enjoy it as well it's, it's a lifetime achievement uh, um, we've both myself and TJ have undertaken different challenges of across the world and doing different climbs and things and uh, this one is going to be our biggest single climb so we're, we're climbing 12,000 feet in the day oh. um, which uh, for is putting three Caron tools on top of each other and uh, climb the three of them and descend them again which is the harder part often uh, on the knees so uh, yeah it'll be it'll be a fun filled uh, day we're, we need all the support we can get uh, we hope that everyone will get behind us uh, we'll put out the details on Need for Neuro on our social media uh, coverage and just acknowledge as well normal content who's my digital manager in Ballygarry uh, she's been superb given her time to, 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 to building all these platforms and, and driving the, the messaging out so um, yeah it'll be, it'll be very interesting we need everyone to get behind it the GoFundMe page link is on Need for Neuro and uh, we'll be selling tickets to the, to the pavilion that night where we hope to have a brilliant uh, night with entertainment, a barbecue, uh, champagne and arrival, all that kind of thing. I suppose that's, that's one of the, the main things really for this. So, um, and I suppose the key message is, is that obviously every time I put out a post it's give as much or give as little as you can or want because, you know, a thousand euros is a great contribution but a thousand one euros is also a great contribution because that makes a thousand euros so I suppose uh, one of the things that really um, I would have I, I'd know Andrew I'd know Andrew a long time um, I was privileged to be his lecturer when he was going to college so that's one of the things so and then Padraig and myself and Andrew I suppose the one common thing that we have uh, very much in common is that we're all from the hospitality industry so indeed everybody this can this will reach out to everybody but you know this is 
is also what we thought is that there was a nice link there because it's hospitality looking after their own really and these two kids like yeah I mean Geraldine and Andrew are absolutely amazing but these are amazing kids in the sense of like I mean it's like having an adult conversation but then again all the things that they've been through in the last number of years have been surrounded by hospitals and adults but you know they're just uh, the glass is, is uh, instead of it being half full it's full and it's 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 overflowing you know which in some cases that wouldn't be so 